Welcome to Soil Humus for 2023. Earth Love Global are the leaders in soil humus rehabilitation. In this field, as you can see, how much tonnage is going back into the land? How much biomass is really being produced here and that's going to be productive? Earth Love Global are the leaders in growing soil humus and as you can see, the amount of biomass going back into these areas are very limited. The reason we say this is because, number one, when soils are bare to the sun, as you can see, the interrows, interrows between each plant is bare to the sun. These are bare, bare during, during the growing season at the start and towards the end, which then creates issues. In here, for instance, as you can see, the biomass is quite large, which is great, but this is still not enough. How is it that you can build more biomass in every square meter of your land? How is it that you can stop the bleaching and leaching of your fungus and bacteria? Number one is worms. But how do you feed worms? You need fungi and bacteria. So in fact, by having the soils bare to the sun, you're killing the fungi and bacteria, which feed, kills your worms which actually indirectly causes detriment to your worm count. Most farmers say the worms go deeper. Yeah, they do at certain times, but in proper healthy soils, they're in the layer called soil humus. And that's beneath this area where your organic matter is. Your soil humus is directly below your organic matter. There's your organic matter soil humus and below that is your topsoil so the further you dig down you should have these significant layers called horizons and in these layers you should have organic matter you should have soil humus layer which this is normal in a lot of productions then you should have your topsoil and it should be loamy and, and very light to the touch. See how this is compacting? This is very clay-like and that's fine. They might have more clay soil in these areas, but you can in fact change that by increasing your fungi and bacteria. By increasing your fungi and bacteria, you're going to do multiple things one it's going to break up these clumps number two it's going to hold more moisture do you know when it rains and you get more moisture holding capacity and then in other times you don't well this is due to the fungi and bacteria, the worms the mucus the mucus and glomelin from fungi that are produced which is a sticky substance see this this is perfect this is what should be all through the fields on a significant level it should be four to twelve inches deep by doing this you start to increase your biodiversity in your soils now the soils are more moist and alive under this area just here because there's coverage but because behind it it's bare, the sun bleaches, kills the soil, puts it into dormancy, and then sucks the moisture back in 1.5 metres. So in fact, having all your soils uncovered, you're actually depleting your soil's biological activity, and you start to 
could see major detriment in your fields. When it comes to ploughing in your biodiversity, and in fact this is key here, you start to plough this biodiversity in and see down here you've got organic matter that's down underneath the subsurface and then you've got soils on top. If you want to increase your productivity in your fields, increase your fungis and bacterias. Keep your fungi and bacteria safe from and guarded from the sun and bleaching and leaching. And this will increase your productivity and your yields in the field. Earth of Global have pre created Myco 15. It is an Australian natural fungi and bacteria inoculation product that comes in powder or liquid form. Now these liquids and powders can be applied to any Australian soil. Incorporating these in on your crops will increase your yields in the field. Your one bushel will be like three bushels. Your entire ecosystem will come alive and that's because these fungis actually grow out off the plant into the surface horizons and bring back the nutrients back to the root systems of the plants. We're going to come over here and we're going to show you what we are talking about. Under here is where your root systems are, right? Look, hardly any. Hardly any. Hardly any roots at all. This, in fact, is why farmers are struggling. Because the roots are barely getting an inch down into the surface of the soil. And this is due to the fungus and bacteria and the soils being so rock solid and causing major detriment for the plant's ability to absorb moisture. So therefore, the roots are a couple of inches in the soil and as soon as the sun hits, it bleaches your fungus and bacteria, your moisture evaporates and your plants go into dormancy or struggle or even uh, you lose your crop. Now, when you're putting the fungus on, it's like hair. If you were to go into your shed and get a clump of uh, spider webs and put those clumps together in a big ball and put them onto the root system of your plant. That is what fungi looks like underneath the soil. It's a massive highway of root systems, very fine, hair-like, very delicate. And this will increase your productivity and your yields in the field. Contact Earth Love Global for more information.